I love this so much. It's giving me all kinds of oxy addicted housewife realness. She's too zonked to pick the kids up from school, but she looks fab. <laughs> Welcome back. I forgot my pillow. I'm feeling a little short. Hold on. So this will be a fairly short um, Forever 21 haul. Short because I don't have a lot of time, um, but I wanted to get something up today. I think I've got about six or seven items. Yes, I'm making a video. What's up? So I have about six or seven items. So not like the biggest haul I've ever done, but not the smallest either. So on my last video, I received some commentary that I am a little bit harsh or critical of companies, clothing companies, and that's true. I am critical of the places that I buy from. If the stuff doesn't fit right, I'm going to say it. If it's overpriced, if it's not worth it, if the quality is poor, I'm gonna say all of these things. Why? Because I purchase these items myself my with my hard-earned money most of my disposable income goes to clothes i am a clothes junkie i'm hesitant to call myself a fashion junkie because like i'm not out here doing lookbooks i mean i could but i don't really have anyone to film them i'm not like putting together really cute innovative outfits i mean sometimes but i don't come on here to be like you know i'm so up on fashion or i'm so trendy i come on here to show people the clothes to show how they fit being a plus size girl, it's hard. So especially if you shop online as much as I do, I would say 80% of the clothes that I buy are purchased online. And when you're buying clothes online, it's it's a damn shot in the dark, okay? So I come in here to say, this is how it fits on me. Maybe it'll fit the same on you. I think it's really helpful to see clothes on a real person rather than like the stock model that the website has. Not that those girls aren't real people, but let's, you know, we all know they don't really represent like the demographic. They don't. They're small. I mean, there's some models that like Forever 21 or Tori uses that are downright thin. To me, it's helpful to see clothes on a real person, explain the fit, explain if I think it's overpriced, all of these things. So I'm not coming on here as like any sort of fashion guru, please. So yes, I am critical of these companies. I'm buying the clothes. The companies are not sending me anything for free, okay? Even if they were, I don't think that I would tone down the way I deliver my reviews because what's the point of that you know you know more to the point I'm purchasing them myself I have spent thousands of dollars at Torrid in the last year and I'm not joking like I can only haul so much this is not my job I have worked 50 hours a week up until August I was going to school so I can't you know I can't haul as much as I buy like all the time I spend a lot of money on clothes I am a clothing junkie um, and so yes, I'm critical. I'm the consumer. <laughs> you know, I spend lots of money at these establishments and if I don't like it, if I've received something or I bought something that does not work or is, is ugly or is ugly on or was misrepresented or the quality is poor, I'm gonna say it and maybe I'm not gonna be nice about it. I just feel like, for one, plus size women are already done a disservice in the market. Like. There are so many places that I can't shop. As far as like mall stores, there are maybe three or four stores in the mall that I can go and just buy something and be done. And that's being generous, probably more like two or three. I am I am hard on these companies because you're serving a market of people who have been long, have been forgotten, glossed over, treated it, treated as insignificant, all of these things. And so if you're going to come, if you're going to say that you serve plus size women, then you better come correct. I don't, I mean, that, I, I don't know what else to say. And so if, if it's not, if I've spent my money on something that turns out, you know, now, now also keeping in mind that not everything's gonna work for me. So just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for the next girl. But if something is just downright shabby or if I order online and I receive it and it just has been misrepresented, then I'm going, then, you know, I'm coming for you. Like I'm coming for this company, not saying that I'll never shop there. I mean, as much shit as I talk about Torrid, I love Torrid. It's one of my favorite places, if not my favorite place to buy clothes, but I do come for them because of their prices. I come for them because their styles are sometimes matronly. I come for them because they don't, um, use models in their website and in their print media that represent most of us. But that doesn't mean I don't have love for the company or I'm not gonna wear their clothes anymore, it just means I'm 
holding you to a high standard plus size companies because you can't just put out any old mess that's what we were used to and also Tory is not cheap okay even forever 21 like it's cheaper when you consider the fact that forever 21 has a camisole that's a dollar 90 in the straight sizes and three dollars and 90 cents in the plus sizes it's like yes you're charging me two additional dollars for a few inches worth of fabric yes if this shit is fucked up i'm coming for you so whatever i will continue to be critical of the companies because i'm spending my money to buy the clothes and you know you're not gonna you're not going to play us like don't play us companies like don't play us stores that claim to represent or want to cater to plus size women just don't do it now on to the clothes so the first thing that i have is a kimono it looks like this it's one of my favorite kimonos that i've ever bought it is so like i just love the colors i love the it's giving you sort of winter floral because it's got the black on um, background i don't care about that i'll definitely be wearing it I don't care about that. I'll definitely be wearing it in the spring and summer. And that's in fact, that's why I bought it. Let me just put it on. Oh, so it's got the long flowy sleeves. Oh, it's so pretty. It goes down to about like mid thigh. This was $15 and 90 cents. Most of the things in this haul um, were purchased full price, <sighs> breaking my own rule. I did use a 10% like coupon code or whatever. Like I had the extra money and I wanted the items right now. I didn't want to wait for, you know, a sale. God only knows when that would happen. Okay, so I think I have more items than I thought. Probably closer to eight. <sighs> Oops. The next thing that I have is another item that was purchased in the straight size section. It is this dress. Looks like this. It's like a ribbed skater dress. Um. Okay, so this was, why did I buy this? Oh, so Forever 21 about two weeks ago was having a 65% off of sale items and that's like just unheard of <laughs> so this dress was like it was marked at I think $5.99 I got it like for two dollars and something like I don't know if it fits I mean I guess we'll see because I haven't tried it on <laughs> it's a size extra large it's really stretchy yeah I have no idea if it's gonna fit or not sometimes I can shoehorn myself into a, a extra large of straight sizes at F, at F21, but I don't know. It's definitely gonna require shapewear. I definitely know that. The next thing I have is an item that is from actually the men's section, which I didn't realize it was a men's item at first because it like was in the plus size section, but it was just hanging up randomly. So I just picked it up and then I realized it was a men's item, but it ended up being on sale. And it was, it's just this like, okay. So it's like a, jersey jacket I guess or sweater I don't know but it looks like this okay that looks like it's the back no okay ah okay so it looks like this and it's like just an open no it's not open you can button it I mean the way I'm the, <laughs> the way I'm fumbling here you would think I'd never seen this before and it has a hood it says Green Bay on it so I'm guessing that's a reference to the Green Bay yes the Green Bay Packers but I don't even know I mean, I'm so <laughs> illiterate when it comes to sports. I don't know, where do they play? Where is Green Bay? I don't know, I, I've heard of them, but I know I am not a sports fan in the least. So, shh. Mm. I just thought it was cute and it was like $4, sign me up. The next thing that I have is something that I purchased online and paid full price for other than that 10% coupon. When I saw this on the website, I was just like, for some reason, now I don't know why. But for some reason, I was just really intrigued by it. I was like, ooh, what is that? I want it. They call it a layering romper. And it looks like this. And the way the girl has it on, it looks like, it looks like it would be something that you could wear out. Now, I didn't plan to wear it out. Like I had planned to just put it under some sheer dresses I have. But like, I guess I wasn't expecting this. Like it's really small. Like those are the legs, those are the arms. And I got a 1X. Oh God, it's 0X slash 1X. I haven't tried this on guys. Ooh, I might have to go exchange this cause yeah, I don't know if this is gonna fit. I just don't know. Like, and even if it does fit, I'm afraid that it's gonna ride up. So if I wear it with something sheer, then you're gonna be able to tell that my ass is eating the shorts. Zero X. I mean, I am dropping some weight, but 
even <laughs> still, 0x seems like kind of a push, like a little bit of a stretch, no pun intended. This was for some reason $15.90. I don't think it's worth that. This seems like it should be more in the $9.99 price range. I don't know, I just really wanted something to wear under like some of the sheer dresses I have and so I picked this up. Can't say it was the smartest purchase I've ever made, especially if it turns out not to fit. The next item I have was also purchased online and it's something that I've been looking for for a long time. It's a mesh bodysuit. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's kind of got like a mock neck, like this. So not like a all the way turtleneck, but just like, you know, a little bit. It has the mesh sleeve, it's long sleeve, and then like the little crotch area is solid, so that's cool. Has little snaps at the vagina, so you don't have to, um, you know, get naked to go to the bathroom. This is a size 2X. Now I wanted a 1X, but they didn't have it, it was sold out, so I ended up with the, um, I ended up with the 2X. $15.90, I mean, seems a bit steep to me. I don't know. Again, maybe not the smartest purchase I've ever made. I saw something very similar to this on Boohoo, but it was sold out. And like every time I went to Boohoo, like the shit was sold out, like in my size. And so I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> and then I saw one on Charlotte Russe, but that one was like $22. So I just caved and brought and bought this one. I have not tried this on yet. A lot of this stuff I haven't yet tried on. So I guess we'll just have to see like what happens. I bought this to wear like with a bralette like this and have it just be like sheer and to wear under um, like dresses, like spaghetti strap dresses. So yeah. The next item I have is another mesh item. Again, purchased online for full price. Full price was $22.90. It is a mesh hoodie. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Um, so the cool thing about this, well, let me just, why do I do this to myself, guys, why? The cool thing about this is that obviously it's all mesh. It doesn't have very much stretch, like a little bit. And so because I was worried about like the fit of it, I got I got a 2X and the 2X is fine. Um, I wanted it to fit more oversized and so, but it doesn't, it fits like just right, but I wanted it oversized. So if I wanted to oversize, I should have gotten 3X and then it would have been, I think I just spin. And then it would have been like perfect. It does have a zipper on the side, one side, which I wish the zipper was on both sides. I don't know why, it's just on one. Um, this was just really cute. Again, $22.90, kind of mad about that. But I love this, I love it so much. The next item is an item that also, again, was from the 65% off clearance sale. And I think I got it for like a dollar or something. Like, I mean, like really cheap. Like, I think I got it for like $2 and change. It's this tank top. It's from last summer, and I know that because I think I still have this. Like this is my, this is the second time that I bought this. I bought it like back over the summer, and I don't know where it is. Like I think maybe I lost it or something. But also it had like a spot or something like in the chest area where it just like had been discolored, and so that kind of put me off wearing it. I didn't realize that like when I bought it. I was glad to see this. I could get another one. This is a size zero X. I think it'll be fine because it's like plenty stretchy. It's really cute. Again, I think this was like a dollar and change. So it was a good deal. I didn't feel bad for buying it a second time. The original price of it was like nine, 10.90. So yeah, really, really cute. Okay, so the last thing I have is probably, I wanna say my favorite item out of this bunch. Um, it is a pair of leggings and they look like this. And as you can see, they have these rips here in the leg and even more down here and behind the rips are like mesh so they're really very cute these are $22 um these are actually pretty good they are very stretchy and it's something about the material they're not like a cotton material they're like a I don't know how to describe it maybe like a <sighs> Like they're, they're, they're thin, but they don't feel flimsy. Like, and they stretch a lot. Like maybe like a scuba, but not as stiff as scuba. Really stretchy. And because of that, they stay up. Now, if you've been watching my videos then you know that the bane of my fashion existence is leggings that fall the fuck down. I hate it. I hate the sensation of it. I hate, you know, through, throughout the day, they slide down. You gotta keep pulling them up. I don't like that. These don't do that. Um, now, I haven't worn them for an entire day yet, but they seem like they 
you know, they didn't slide down at any point when I was wearing them. These are a size 1X and I was a bit worried because I'm like, mm, should I get a two? But I'm glad I got the one because they stretch so much and they're just really comfortable. The only thing is this little mesh part is um, very, I mean, it's a little itchy. Um, but it's really cute, I love it. Torrid had some of these and they were like $32 or some shit, but they sold out really quickly so I didn't get a chance to get them. I wish the rips were more, like they looked more like rips. Like these are just really uniform. I wish they were more like distressed looking, but other than that, these are perfect. I love them. Everything that I showed you is still up on the website. Everything was purchased pretty recently. So with the exception of that tank top that I showed, um, it may not be there because it's from last season, but if you really like it, they may bring it back for the summer and spring. But that's it. That is my haul and I'll be back with another video in I think two days. Oh, also, before I go, I wanted to say, um, because I don't really do lookbooks on here, like, if you want to see a lookbook, let me know, but it's just kind of a hassle because I don't have anyone to like film them for me. If I want someone to film it, I have to like arrange something with like a friend. Um, so I don't, I mean, it just seems like a hassle and I could do it on my, like with my tripod, but I don't know. I want to be outside when I do it. I don't want to just sit inside and then if I have a tripod, it's just a hassle. So I haven't done it. If you want to see it, um, I will. But if you're interested in seeing how I put some of these looks together, go onto my Instagram. Now I know I've plugged my Instagram before and if you've ever gone onto it, then you'd know that it's been hella dry. But I just recently, within the last few days, started to upload pictures of my outfits. So I'm gonna try to start doing that like every day. I've done it for the last three days. And I also have some random other pictures up of outfits and whatnot. But if you were interested at all in seeing how I put the stuff that I haul together in an actual look, then definitely check out my Instagram because that is where I um, do all of that stuff. Um, also in my Instagram, you'll be able to see items like, you know, outfits and tops and shirts and pants that I haven't hauled yet. Kind of a sneak peek, I guess, into things that will be hauled at a later time. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time and have a good one. Oh, I don't know why I said that. I hate when people say that. Have a good one. Oh, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.